Okay, hello everybody, welcome. This is a Super Mario Kart All Cups race between three of the uh, very best players of the game. We've got Lafongo, who, despite being from the USA, is the current European multiplayer champion of Super Mario Kart. KVD, who is the uh, current time trial world champion of Super Mario Kart. And Jami, who's a very accomplished time trial and GP player with a top 10 finish at the most recent Worlds. Uh, I'm Mo, I'm joined in comms by Firewaster. Hello Mo, how are you doing? Uh, I'm good, good. A little bit of a panic a few minutes ago where I couldn't seem to get my uh, microphone to work. <laughs> Tech monology. So I see you're, you're supporting Jarmu today with your cardboard cut out there, and I'm, uh, you're I'm with uh, Carol or SNK on the machine. And the fun goes all on his own. No cardboard could that support. So just a, a quick quick breakdown of what the players are going to be doing. Uh, Super Mario Kart, they're going to be each playing through on one player mode, 150cc, and uh, basically play through all the cups. First person to finish wins, basically. You need to finish top four each race to continue through to the next race. You don't have to win the cup to continue, but these players will win every single race, so they will win the cups. And it'll all be done in probably somewhere around 33 minutes. I guess they're ready to go, right? So, uh, it'll be interesting to see how Carol does. He's had uh, some issues in the last uh, couple of days. Uh, some emergency dental work in Sweden. Uh, I'm not sure how much practice he's got in, or quite how much uh, tooth pain he's in at the moment. Um, that should be good. Yeah. So, stri Go ahead. I was going to say straight off, all three players get the zoom start, which is an important aspect of this game. If you fail to get the zoom start, you'll lose about three seconds each track. Yeah, and the zoom start has like different windows depending on which place you start. On the first uh, race of each cup, you will be last, so it will have like an eight frame window to get the zoom start. But then, as they finish first on the other tracks and start first on the following tracks, they will have a way shorter window, uh, four frames. Yeah. I should still see them getting most of the zoom starts. It's. There's a fairly decent visual cue in this game, but uh, Lefogo and uh, Carol both getting 48s, drawing me with a 50, about two seconds behind, but uh, two seconds in this game is essentially nothing. It's a game where things can go very wrong very quickly and you can lose 10 seconds in an instant. And she even had a mushroom and she had the long boost, but uh, at the end of the long boost she uh, hit some, some of the sand at the end of MC1. And cost her a lot. So we've got a question in chat, how do you keep the speed over the zip dirt? Um, this game has a kind of hidden mechanic which most people who played it weren't familiar with, which is what we call boosting. It's very similar to the mini turbo techniques of the later Mario Kart games, just you don't get a visual cue that you're actually building a boost, so you don't get like blue sparks building behind the cart. But if you do a turn for about one second while in power slide, Will generate a boost and these players will be generating those boosts not just in one long slide but by zigzagging quickly left and right across the d-pad so that they can build build a boost while driving in a almost straight line um, yeah we can kind boost. of trick the game into believing that we are turning for a, for a long time but we are actually just changing in direct directions yeah and if you release a boost you will get a very very small increase in speed which is helpful but the more helpful aspect of it is that you can drive across small sections of off-road without any speed loss um, this game we're going to be looking hopefully to see shrooms and plumes so mushrooms and feathers they're what allow us to do some of the uh, more cool tricks in the game especially the feather has a lot of interesting uses for jumping to finish lines or across sections of track yeah and KVD with his signature missed some start 
Uh, but he, he misses so many that he's got a very good backup of getting the CPUs to give him a, a nudge start most of the time. Yeah, and you're getting a lot of coins too. The coins in this game, they, they are important because they increase your maximum speed and they also uh, serve as a protection. Uh, if you get to zero coins and you get hit by a CPU, it's get a spin. So, and they usually just chain hit you, so you don't have much. Yeah, so everyone goes value one. The important trick on this track is the platform jump, which you can make without the use of items, just by going full speed and hopping. Uh, in 150cc, it's not too hard. You've got a few frames to, to time that hop. Um, so players looking for 49 to 51, which they all got. Carol's 51 because he missed the zoom start. Got a, got a decent shove from the CPU, but still lost two seconds at the start there. Next track, Bowser Castle 1, is where hopefully we'll see some feathers. So, if La any La of these players pick up a feather, let's go. Lafungo and Carol are just basically synced right now. And we see um, different versions of the game being played. We've got one person playing on the American cart, two on the Japanese. There's really... There's no, there's no real difference in terms of... Uh, Time for the runs. There are some very small minor differences, which shouldn't really impact the times that these players get. And all three playing with Bowser, which is uh, there's basically four character classes here. The heavyweights Bowser and DK are the characters with the highest top speed and the lowest acceleration. But if you can maintain maintain top speed during your tire race, which these players will be trying to do on every track. They are best or most optimal characters to be using. No feathers so far. Mm, it's the marathon way. I mean, with three players, one of them should have got a feather, but uh, we can't see the first corner shortcut now. Um, we'll jar with sabers and pick up a feather so we can at least see the backup of that five feather. No. Yeah, she didn't. But yeah, 111, 112. Looks like Jeremy's coming around with a 112 as well. 111. 1172. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying hi to Sparks F1 in chat. So, I mean, this is so far, it's been really, really good driving from all three players. Just haven't had the uh, items to get some of the cooler tricks in, but the actual racing is really on point. And uh, even though Jarmo is slightly behind, uh, with one good item, she can get right back into the mix. Uh, the best items and the best tracks here can gain you like six, seven, eight seconds, depending on the track. So it's it's a close race. Yeah. So Mario Circuit Two, there's not much going to be going on here. I don't think any of the players will be going for a long boost off of the uh, off of the zippers. There is a, a trick you can do which will save you about a second per lap maybe. But if you it comes with a lot of risk and if you mess it up you're losing a lot more than you possibly gain from it. The fungo has a mushroom. Yeah. Oh, okay, he's gonna just uh, use it to get back to speed. Basically, if you go over uh, one of the yellow zippers, or if you have a mushroom and you get the speed and then hit the wall, a wall or another character or a pipe, you can... Uh, it's actually a little bit uh, complicated, but you use the item or hit the zipper and then you jump and hold jump, and you can extend that boost for a very... the mushroom speed or the zipper speed for a very long time. It's very, very useful. And Carol with a 714 Mushroom Cup was uh, really good. I think we've got a couple of seconds behind, John, and a few more seconds behind. But yeah, 714 with no major items is really good. It's better than my PR with items, so... Yeah, same. 
Um, now we'll be hoping for uh, mushrooms and feathers once again. Yeah. But I like the mushroom here better. I think it's more plastic. Yeah, so the mushroom allows for a long boost, which can last about two laps. And you get it bouncing all over the place. Watch the middle screen here. Oh, oh didn't get it perfectly. No, so to do that long boost, you want to shroom, release gas, jump into the wall. So you hit the wall on the upwards part of your jump. And then all the time, you're not holding an accelerator. You'll get locked into a high speed state for a while. You can go bouncing over all the bumpers at really high speed. But what Carol made the mistake was he was holding a direction when he hit the wall, which put him into a sideways long boost, which is just not very good, unfortunately. Ah, Jamie's got a mushroom. Let's watch her right hand side. Um, she'll come around the first corner. If she's Cooper stops by wow. 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 So she's going to fight the mushroom into the wall. And, um, it's not very powerful, that long boost, unfortunately. Yeah, she wasn't at full speed. And she almost got sniped by the mini shroom. Would be a disaster. Uh, 50 seconds, that matched what Carol got. Lufungo had the uh, the better of Chocolate and Wands and takes the lead. Makes sense. He's the time trial world record holder on that track. It's kind of his backyard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, Ghost Valley 2, basically, don't fall off. Be interesting to see, oh, Carol. Yeah, um, Carol going for the platform jump there. It's risky, but uh, it's I a lap one. I think it's a bit of a trap. Laps two to five when you've got a, a few more coins. That platform jump is absolutely free. Lap one. Oh, Carol's got a feather. And John has got a feather. Yeah, that's Ooh. the silver lining of uh, entering the lap. Not in first place. You have a better shot at getting a feather there. So. Yeah, maybe that was for the better in the end, I'm not sure. So, there's a trick we can do on the last lap, which you can basically finish the lap in about three seconds. So if we watch the center screen first, we'll see Carol go around the first corner, but instead of going on the finishing race, he's going to bump off the wall and feather across oh, the finish line. Doesn't Jarmu's make it. Jarmu's going to try it. Doesn't make it. Wow, yeah, that's... It's an incredibly hard trick. I've only ever landed it twice in my life. But, uh, I don't think I've ever done it, but yeah, I would say it's like 20% trick, something like that. Yeah. Carol had a, a bit of issue with uh, Cooper Trooper being kind of in an annoying spot for his build up to that fella. Oh, Nafunko missing a zoom start. That is incredibly rare for him to do. He's probably got the highest zoom start success rate of anybody I know. Young Donut Plains 2 will be hoping once again for mushrooms because uh, there is a trick, uh, a track called Jesus Mushroom because you can use the mushroom to kind of walk on water and skip over uh, the wall. It's uh, it's possible in all three Donut Plains tracks, but uh, I think this one. Now they save more or less the same amount of time. Yeah, they, they'll be looking for mushroom for this one. Yeah, this one I always find hardest. I think it saves the least time in this one. It's, but I find it incredibly hard to get over and actually maintain speed on landing on the other side. Yeah, you so. usually just hit the back of the cart uh, on the wall and lose some speed. But I still think uh, that Don't Plains one is the hardest, at least uh, for me. And on LaFungo's screen, you can see uh, one of the features, quote unquote, <laughs> of this track, which is the CPU traffic on lap 5. It's basically impossible to avoid the CPUs there. Uh, driving through CPU or lapping CPUs is one of the hardest skills in this game. Once you reach. Oh, that's your... move. Oh, Ooh. she missed the Jesus, sure. I didn't quite get a good enough uh, bounce off of the water to jump over the wall. Yeah, one of the hardest things in this game is just driving past lap CPU traffic because it's not like Formula One, they don't get waved blue flags to let you through. They will actively try and barge you and troll you with items at every opportunity as you're lapping them. And the better you are, the more CPUs you'll end up lapping. So the more open you make yourself to uh, item trolling. 
Yeah, I need some narrow tracks that can be uh, deadly and completely destroy a race. Oh, KVD with an immediate. <laughs> I'm looking there. So, there's a, a finish line shortcut you can do on lap 5 here. But because Carol picked up this feather on lap 1 and because he's a bit behind, I think he's going to go for this first corner shortcut. Yep, turns around, jumps across the track. Beautiful. Very well done. Very well done. No wall hits um, on the landing, that's pretty much uh, cool. And then he jumps <laughs> about to say, that was textbook uh, feather usage, but then he fell on So, Carol's making a few mistakes today. Uh, I don't know if anyone in chat's aware, but he, he had some dental problems uh, occur yesterday uh, when he had to go for some emergency dental work and he's been in a lot of pain at the moment. So, I don't think he's had quite the practice he would have wanted. But let's watch the left screen with the fun guys fan. Can he jump to fit? Oh, hit the wall. Let's see if he's going to go for the alternative. Uh, but yeah, he is. He is. He is. Oh, my favorite no. in the game. Ah. Um, I guess our hopes are now all on Jarmu's feather. Oh, oh she oh. got extremely trolled <laughs> by Yoshi there. Let's see if she can do the finish line trick. CPU got DK spamming bananas at her and jumps to the finish line and yes. gets it. Yes, very good. Very well done. That's. So doing that feather on a clean lap is the difference between getting like an eight, nine second lap, or if you miss the feather, you end up getting a 27 second lap, um, just because you have to get fished out of a lava and then drive around the rest of the track. So in terms of single item use, it's the one which saves the most in the entire game, versus not hitting it. Yeah, this track, there isn't much that can happen. It's there are no big feathers, the track has too many uh, swirls and turns for it to be possible to gain a lot of time with long boosts. Yeah, the only uh, interesting technique they are using here is called uh, an infinite boost. Uh, that if you go through the zipper while you are uh, in a one of those boosts we mentioned earlier, and you have the gas button release, the boost can last uh, indefinitely, but well, the track is full of corners, so you can just drive around to speed all the time. So, yeah, it's infinite, but you don't get to benefit from it being basically. Uh, I mean, it is possible to drive around like all laps using the same boost. I think if you use some of the lower speed characters. Uh, uh, I know it is. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not sure. Yeah. So the fun going 115, really good time for MT3. 116 for Carol. Uh, looks like John is getting it something like a 117, 118. So anything below 120 is usually pretty good. You know, you're not really going to go below 115 very often, so you can only really win or lose three or four seconds on this track, short of. Uh, being trolled by the CPUs. And we get to watch them winning their great race Mario Gold face. And fun fun the, fact, uh, yeah. Oh, go ahead. When I was in... No, go ahead. Uh, if you watch uh, on LaFungo's screen, the uh, USA version, uh, Koopa just celebrates with his champagne but on the Japanese version he takes a, a, a very Big long nap. sip <laughs> uh, and if you, play with, if, you, if you play with Peach she goes quite rosy cheeks when she's drinking wine it's Give Peach one all different. Yeah. you see the uh, runners use a technique called water sliding yeah. when you jump into the shallow water into a slide as long as you're you've got some angular momentum on the turn you won't lose speed uh, so it lets you go through these uh, sections of uh, shallow water without speed loss where if you just drive into them normally you'd uh, lose a bunch of speed fun fact the cpus do not lose speed driving through water uh, they cheat and just it has no effect on them 
Carroll doing the KPD corner. The last corner of this track is named after him because he's known to ground there at the worst times possible. Which he kind of did here. Yeah, he's not going to be happy with the 52. Charmy with a 50, and Lafungo wants to check one too. Personally, my favorite track in the game. Can be looking for mushrooms and feathers. Mushrooms have really nice long boosts you can do, where you'll go big bounces off of all the little bumpers. And the feather basically lets you do a four second lap by just turning around after the finish line, jumping over the wall and recircling the last corner. Yeah, unless you miss it, right? Then you get a 30 second. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've been there, done that. So, uh, so far, no good items here. Um, oh, as uh, so the picks up a mushroom, it's gone into a long boost, misses the first bump, so it's not quite as powerful. Yeah, oh, Jarmo with a better one. Oh, but you had to dodge the debut there. And a feather yep. for both Carl and Jarmo. So, Carol's just uh, done his feather, so he's got a four second lap. Uh, Jarmo Cooper really does not like Jarmo at the moment. And she's using her feather to get her four second lap. Very well done. Yeah, we got to see every trick in the game <laughs> here. Oh, and she gets another mushroom, double mushroom and feather. Wow. And, oh, that's a better long boost. Yeah, very nice. Very nice. 48, 87. So, that's good. Johnny, who is uh, behind the other two, had the fastest chuck on two. Carol in the middle had the second fastest. And Lafongo lost about 10 seconds on that track. So, he's brought Carol a lot closer range to him now. And on to everyone's favorite track. Everyone's favorite track if you like snow, ice, pipes. Yeah, <laughs> this track has it all. I don't think it's anyone's favorite track, honestly. Some people are quite good at it. Yeah, when you watch somebody like Neo playing it at full speed, it just looks absolutely magical. Yeah, sometimes I feel like I'm playing a different track uh, on GP than what he does. Yeah, I knew... like the, the CPUs and the ice blocks just ignore him, and they just jump in front. It's something else. And you're the holder of all the world records for the Vanilla Lake tracks in time trial? Yeah, time trial is a different beast. <laughs> <laughs> I can retry it without having to play Koopa Beach 1 in CI2. <laughs> and uh, Carol picking up another 5 seconds there over the phone game, so there's literally 4 or 5 seconds between the two of them now. And John is still very close. Close. Hope you can't hear the uh, people yelling outside my window. So Bowser Castle 3. Uh, as with all the Bowser Castles, we're looking for feathers. Feathers let you cut large sections of the track. Um, we're also looking for kind thwomp RNG. Watch the fungo coming around this corner. There's a wall of fourth wumps and nice uh, dodge. squeezed through the pixel gap on the outside. That is not easy to do. You have to basically drive inside the wall to get through that gap. And we jinxed him. But Carol's got a feather as well. Yeah, this could be interesting. So, uh, if you watch the middle of the screen. Full lap on this. Oh, oh he failed it. And he didn't get put back across to the other side either. He went really aggressive on that feather as well. Yeah, I was about to say that skipping uh, one lap on this track is very important, mostly because all the CPU traffic you avoid. Uh, starting on lap 4, it's really, really difficult. Yeah, this, this game is not easy. A lot of it is about how well you can improvise to what the tracks are throwing at you. So all these swamps, they're not on cycles, they're completely RNG. The CPUs just do whatever they want to do and they can snipe you at any time. So there's lots of very quick 
fine adjustments players are having to make to try and maintain full speed here. Yeah, for most uh, speed games, uh, there are some things that you can trust on, like cycles and patterns. But the only pattern here is that the CPU is gonna <laughs> get into your way and try to destroy your race. So, my race circuit four, not much usually happens here, but Carol getting turned around at the start of lap one. Generally, it's just make it round the hairpins and then we'll be fine. Um, yeah, not much time to gain here either, because again, like MC3, it's a very... It's a track full of corners and even the, the long boosts don't gain you much. So we might see Carl try for some. Yeah, I mean, the long boost looks cool, but it saves, what, half a second to one second. Uh, he made it quite nicely. Uh, meanwhile, Lafongo is just cruising around. Looks like he's on about 125, 126 pace for this track, which is very good. Anything under 130 is a good uh, MC4. Um, I mean, we've seen root CPU in terms of barging and stuff, but we haven't really seen much of uh, CPU direct hit with the items. So. Whenever you see the uh, the bottom screen go to like a rear rear mirror view, that means the CPU is about to throw something at you, and they can land it perfectly on your head where there's absolutely nothing you can do about it. Yeah, and the worst that can happen is getting hit by the poison mushroom that both Toad and Peach throw, because that turns you into a small character and. You lose speed and you can be ran over. So it's usually a 8 to 10 second loss when you get hit by one of those. Do we have time for a few donations? Yeah, go ahead. Lovely. We've got $150 from Grink that says, So high for this race. This money will be help me torture you lot during the crowd control. I'll be very, very vicious if Jami doesn't win. Ah, uh, Bon and Tundere. Mm. We also have uh, $100 from Neflin saying, do a drift. And back to you guys. So we're three quarters of the way through this uh, All Cups run. And the only cup remaining is Special Cup, which is the hardest cup. And uh, there's still lots of cool tricks that players can do. So total plays one. We're hopefully going to see a mushroom. I, I'd say that uh, this cup has some of the most interesting uh, tricks, actually. Because if you have like the Jesus Mushroom on the P3, and then you have the Finish Line Feather on the V3 and uh, Rainbow Road. So yeah, a lot of interesting tricks still to go, but currently <laughs> the game doesn't want to give them the, the right items. Yeah, so... The only, the only shortcut you can really do on this track is with the mushroom, but you can, uh, again, fire the mushroom, bounce over some water, jump over a wall, and cut, cut what is a 14 second lap down to about 6 seconds. But uh, not seen it yet. This is going to be Fungo's last item box you can get a mushroom on. Mm -hmm. I got one. Okay, she's going to save it for the last lap. Yeah, which is an interesting strat, because uh, after you bounce over the water, you lose some speed, so it's better to be close to the finish line than having to drive a bit more. So, if we watch Jami's screen, Mushroom... Oh, oh, no! She jumped. I think she jumped. Yeah, it was a bit of a, a sharp angle as well, but if you fight that Mushroom, what you're hoping to happen is you kind of skip like a stone off the water and it kind of throws you over the wall and you land the other side just behind the finish line. So Cooper Beach 2. Um, this is a track I've grown to like in GP. It's incredibly difficult to play until you learn just what you need to do to maintain full speed. Um, it's a track where for about 50 seconds you're literally just hanging onto your coattails the entire way around. Yeah, it's basically 50 seconds of trying not to crash. 
tracks, which I guess is real for most tracks. Yeah, I was going to say, that's the entire All Cups run, it's just... It's, it's not that you know you're... It's not about trying to drive perfectly, because you know you are going to crash at some point. It's pretty much unavoidable. You're just trying to minimise the effect of those crashes. 48, that's a really good one by the thing there. It's like yeah. Carol's getting a 49. The finish line it extends outwards, which is why you're seeing them uh, head out to the right to finish. It's actually the quickest way to cross the finish line. I can see this cup at uh, this race being very close in the end there between uh, Afungo and KVD. Uh, we'll see how the um, how long boosting goes on GV3. Uh, GV3 oh, yeah, is going to go horribly wrong. <laughs> You can lose eight seconds in an instant on this track. So, yeah, in the fungo, he basically banged into the wall before the zipper deliberately. It kind of locks you into a sideways state, and then when you go over the zipper, you go over it with a high speed. So you hop over the bumper, so you don't hit the bumper, hop over the uh, hole in the floor, and you can maintain that high speed all the way around to just after the first corner of the next lap. And it saves you about one second every time you do that. Yeah, it seems like uh, all gain, but after five laps, we're five seconds ahead. Further by Lufongo, lovely. Uh, just jumped a section of track. Second Other feather by Lufongo. Wow. Okay, he's going for the easy feather, not the uh, finish line. Wow. 53 second GV3, that is crazy. Very well driven in the end there. Both feathers, perfect execution. I mean... Okay. Carol's just driven a near perfect GV3, gets a 59 seconds, loses six seconds because Lavongo just got good items and executed, and Jami with her own feather executed beautifully. We're seeing a lot of really good feather action here on GV3. That is not free. So two tracks to go, we're on to Vanilla Lake 2, just drive around in a big circle to the left, uh, try not to fall into the water. <laughs> that sounds very simple. <laughs> well, it is simple, but it's not easy. Yeah, we, well, actually we <laughs> made it complicated by trying to jump over the cracks and go into the small islands, so yeah, yeah. that's on us. Oh. See? You've got the water jumps, you've got the snow slides, then you've got the avoiding of the CPUs, the uh, not hitting the ice blocks. A feather full of fun, you can't really do much with it. In fact, he uses not to do anything with it. Is he keeping it for Rainbow Road? If only he could carry items over to an extra in this game. Yeah, I wish they were fun. Oh, KVD oh, going for the big. Wow. Uh, what he just did on the last lap there was not easy with that section. And it, it probably saved him half a second. But in terms of swag, it should save him two minutes. Uh, and it's interesting because in time trial, I think you do four jumps. You jump uh, in and out of uh, two small islands. But then on GP, you have to do one last jump. So it's completely out of the muscle memory since we are Alice Carroll to play mostly time trials. There's I, I've never done that written time trial. Okay, <laughs> I'll still go around right the outside. GP. I don't think I've ever done it on GP. Okay, Carol with the mushroom. What's he going to do? Is he going to hold it to the last lap? Or is he going to do something with it here? I think he's going to go for it. Yeah, he's going to hold it for it. So, there's two finish line tricks you can do in, do in this game. There's the quote-unquote easy one with the feather. And it basically turns a 14 second lap into a 7 second lap. And you can do a similar finish with the mushroom, it's just a lot more difficult. But at the moment, it uh, looks like Carol is about one lap behind, so he's going to need Lufungo to make a mistake on this last lap. Um, and Lufungo is super solid, I can't see him make a mistake. Maybe Toad? Ooh. Nearly got nudged by Toad, but Lufongo comes around, finishes 32 48. Very good. GG Lufongo. 
Uh, all eyes on Carol. Shroom, bounce, finish line. Beautiful. He really wow. landed it inside. Very nice. That's one of the hardest tricks in the game. Oh, and Jarmo has a feather. We're going to have the chance to see it all. So Jarmo's going to demonstrate the the other way to finish this game. So where where Carol used a mushroom to bounce in the finish line, Jarmo's just going to feather a cross and cross it right there. Nice. And a 33-15. Very nice. Beautiful. Beautiful. Uh, very solid uh, display by, by all, all of them, all the players. Yeah, there's some very good driving. Um, the first half, there was um, some items which went a little bit astray, but during Special Cup especially, everything wrapped up and it was like, some exceptional play there. I'd love to see what some of the uh, Special Cup splits were. Yeah, Special was good. Uh... Well, less yeah. than 30 seconds splitting the three runners, which is something pretty, pretty good. And, it's always uh, good to see in a, in a race them being so close to one another. So I don't know if uh, you want to do some donations while we're kind of in this little down. Lovely. Well, we are going to go to a micro transmission. So that means that we're going to do some very quick setup and get ourselves ready for the crowd control incentive that was met. So everybody hang tight. We're going to be back very, very soon. And in the intermission, I'll read some donations. <laughs> 